My name is Laura Eberle and I've been... My title is Director of Social Change and I run YWCA's advocacy and racial justice work. YWCA San Francisco and Marin is a women's organization that's dedicated to the elimination of racism and the empowerment of women. We provide direct social services and we also do policy and advocacy work to back it up. So our local association provides a number of direct services. We provide employment support for women who are trying to change careers or get back into the workforce. We provide affordable housing in Chinatown in San Francisco for seniors uh, who are low income. And we also do policy and advocacy work. So we have a consulting program on diversity, equity, and inclusion. And we do a lot of grassroots organizing to try and shift policies to make sure that women who are in similar situations but can't find their way through our doors for our services still get the benefit of our work. Our YWCA was founded in San Francisco in 1878 by a group of women who were really committed to having safe spaces for young women who were coming into the city by themselves to live and work. Lots of organizations and lots of our friends and partners really care about the values of equity and inclusion. And that doesn't mean that they know how to make it a reality on the ground. It doesn't mean that people know how to write a good job description or recruit diverse candidates or deal with conflict when it comes up in the workplace. So we developed uh, our own consulting program for DEI work um, using a bunch of qualitative and data-driven tools and drawing on resources from other YWCAs all across the country who do anti-racism work to put together a really unique program that does both cultural humility and intercultural competency work uh, and also really serious power analysis that helps organizations transform into change agents for inclusion and equity. We couldn't begin to do our work without a ton of partnerships. We're in a number of statewide coalitions like Stronger California and the California Work and Family Coalition. We're in regional organizations like Rise Together. We partner all the time with other nonprofits, so we have strong relationships here with Bloom and SparkPoint and the League of Women Voters. Um, really anybody who's about the values of trying to lift up the voices and circumstances of people who are currently marginalized in our society, that's who we're with. We host events all the time. We offer trainings and workshops on anti-racism. We hold organizing events where we hold press conferences, we hold lobby days, we go to the Capitol and we meet with our elected officials and talk about the policy changes we're trying to make. Uh, so we need a ton of support. Uh, we can't begin to do what we do without a whole huge crowd of people around us holding us up. Um, we use volunteers in all of our programming. We have internships for young adults and for college students. We have uh, options to participate and contribute financially, all of which are available online or you can stop by our office at any time. My name is Cindy Ruiz and I have been working with YWCA for three months now. I heard about YWCA through my internship counselor and they gave me the information to contact my supervisor and I did the interview and got my internship. The kinds of things I do in my internship goes from doing an email blast to writing a blog, writing social media posts, and um, right now I'm writing my own um, testimony to give to the sheriff, and I am making protest posters right now. YWCA promotes a close community by um, Offering programs that influence um, the older and younger generations and it gives a more intimate feeling when you get to work with a person one-on-one. Um, -on -one. The YWCA has made me feel empowered by having me write my own testimony that would be spoken out in front of the public of about, I believe, a hundred people hopefully, um, and it kind of gives me the more confidence in myself that I know that I am doing something bigger for the world. The unique role that YWCA fills for me is getting to see the different perspective of each um, situation involving immigration because I was on the other side of seeing other people get hurt, but now I am on the other side 
of getting to help the people who are getting hurt. And um, I guess it kind of gives me more interest in the field that I'm taking. I'm Betty Gundersheim. I'm the Community and Business Outreach Coordinator for the YWCA. Basically, I go out to the community, try to inform everyone about our services and how we help so many wonderful people. We help low-income women 50 years and older with employment support services. We have extensive computer training programs as well as comprehensive workshops, four-day, two-day workshops. And we have clients uh, that might have been out of the workforce for quite a long time, either raising kids or recently divorced, need to brush up on their computer skills. So we're happy to help uh, everyone try to find a great job and get back in the workforce. Uh, we also work with several AARP programs. One is called Work For Yourself. Uh, at 50 plus and we provide uh, toolkits and make a presentation showing our clients how they can um, work for themselves and start their own entrepreneurial business. So.